friends, welcome back to our channel and welcome if you're new. I'm Angie and I enjoy sharing different projects we have going on around our home. In today's video, we're going thrifting. I'm going to take you with me to the store, we're going to shop the aisles, and then I'm going to bring you back home and show you what all I found and what I brought home. The best way to find the good stuff at the thrift store is to go often. But I have noticed lately that in my Goodwills, the prices are really high. I could not believe they wanted $7.99 for this brass apple. And then this vase, they wanted $9.99. And I feel like you could get it brand new at Walmart for that much. Let me know in the comments, do y'all feel like that your prices at Goodwill have gone up or is it just in my area? I really did like these storage containers and I do have some in our pantry that I use for our dry goods. They were $2 each, which I felt was a really good price. But if I got these, I would store craft supplies, ribbon, that type thing in it, and not food. Let me know in the comments if you would store food in yours or if you would use them for miscellaneous items that you use around the house. I did see this cabbage that I really loved. They wanted $20 for it, which was probably not a bad price but I didn't know exactly where I would put it, so I left it behind for someone else to enjoy. And this shell box, I have seen these upwards of $50, and I thought about getting it, but again, I was unsure of how to style it or where I would style it, so I left it behind. I was really drawn to these baskets because of the stripes. I think they would make great storage options. But for $10.99, that was a little steep for me, and the small one was $6.99, but I love the striped liners. One of my favorite areas in the thrift store to shop is the art section. I have found so many good pieces in this section. You just have to really look through all the options. And sometimes you can find great frames and all you need to do is download a print from Etsy and pop it into the frame and you have beautiful art on a budget. We have finally made it to the lamp section and I have a big weakness for lamps. I love them so much and I just pop them in every little nook and cranny that I can find. I love this traditional looking lamp with the pleated lampshade. I think that it is very beautiful and it was affordable for $6.99. But as I kept looking, I found this tiny lamp and y'all know how much I love to add these in the kitchen and keep my eye out for small shades that I can interchange with the small lamps. And as I was looking, I found these small lampshades that were a pair and they were just sitting together and I thought that you could put them together with this lamp. So when you're at the thrift store, make sure that you keep an eye out for things that can go together that were not necessarily meant to go together. For me, thrifting is the thrill of the hunt and it also sparks my creativity. Next, I found this beautiful small vase, and it's blue, which I love blue right now. I think that this was handmade, and I love that it has a taupe background instead of white, which makes it perfect for fall. Let's take a break from the video so that I can tell you about the sponsor of today's video. We Beauty is a company that was founded in 2020 and they focus on the design and development of hairstyler tools, aiming to develop convenient styling tools for our customers and they have also won worldwide acclaim for its creative designs. I have shared the We Beauty Hype Air 5-in-1 styling tool before, but it is too good to not share again. I love the soft curls that this styling tool produces and it's very easy to use. We are so excited to have the Hype 5-in-1 styling tool because it really makes it easier to style your hair at home. This styling tool has five attachments. They're very easy to put on the main unit. You just line up the arrows and then twist it and lock it. Here is the hair dryer that I'm using 
and I like to style Caroline's hair a little bit damp. It's just easier when you're using the styling tool. And you don't have to worry when using this hair dryer because Wee Beauty uses a technology that effectively reduces heat damage. And then my next favorite attachment is the volumizer. And to me, it really lives up to its name. I love to use it on her hair. It gives it a lot of volume and it also makes it shiny and so soft. The last step for styling Caroline's hair is to use the curling iron. There is a right and a left curling iron and you just roll the hair in the direction of the arrow and you hold it for eight to 12 seconds. And then it's best to switch to cool air and hold for at least five seconds to help set the style. Also keep in mind that you wanna use small pieces of hair when curling because if you use too much hair at once, it will affect the airflow effect. We love the results that we get with the Hype 5 one styling tool and if you are interested in having one it's already a great price but you can use my link in the description box below and save an extra 10% off of your 5-in-1 beauty tool. Thank you again We Beauty for sponsoring today's video. Okay friends we're back home and I've got a few thrifted items. I feel like I've got a fall vibe going on even though it is still very hot outside. When I was thrifting I always look for certain things for my home, different colors, different textures. And if you're new to thrifting, I do have a free ebook on my blog. And I'll put a link for it in the description box below so you can check it out. And it just kind of gives you a jump start on what to look for and just tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So let's get to the haul and see what I brought home. So the first thing I found was this plate. It's, it's like a tin plate and it is the South Carolina map with the state flower. I thought it was so pretty with the black and then the little hints of yellow there. So I picked that up. It's got a little bit of rust down at the bottom and I don't mind that at all. I think that it adds character to my pieces that I find. I'm pretty sure this is vintage and it's going to be fun to style it in our home. So the next thing I brought home was this wooden recipe box. It still has the tag on it, but it had this really pretty brass handle detail on it. And it does say recipes on the front, but I'm not going to keep recipes in it. I'm just going to probably put my SD cards that I use for my YouTube channel. I'm gonna store them in here and then I'm gonna turn this side frontward so it doesn't say recipes. But I love the old character of this wood and that little handle. So this one will be fun to style also. I'm probably gonna put this in our bedroom when I finish styling that space, but I just thought it was so pretty and I could not leave it behind. The next thing I found was this beautiful little bud vase. I think that it is handmade by someone that put their initials on it. I love the top of it and I love the navy blue and the taupe. I think that is so pretty and it's all the colors in our house that I'm using. It has an old English look to it to me, and it would be pretty just by itself, or you could put some flowers in it, some pins in it. So pretty. If y'all have followed our channel for very long, you know that when I go to the thrift store, I always check out books. I love to decorate with books, and they're usually very inexpensive but I picked up this old dictionary. It has the tabs on the front of it, and I love the color red and the gold writing. I always look for books with beautiful colors, beautiful writing on the spine, and I thought that was so pretty. The next thing I picked up was this scarf. It is an infinity scarf, but I love the colors. 
the reds, the greens. I'll decorate with it um, when it's uh, fall or Christmas. I love the plaid look and I just love the look of this together. The navy blues and the plaid. I think that is such a pretty look. So always look in the scarf section. You can use them for so many things. If you would like, I can do a video showing you the different uses for scarves that you thrift. That would be a fun video. If you're interested, leave me a comment below and let me know that you would be interested in a video like that. So then the last thing that caught my eye and I brought it home was this basket. I love the texture of it. I love the color and I love the leather strap. The detail of the lock here, that little brass, and the inside has fabric, which I'm not real crazy about that fabric, but I'm going to leave it in there just because I want to have the basket intact. I don't want to mess with it. I just want to display it and keep um, useful things in it, and it'll be a pretty way to store things and I just think that it is a beautiful basket. I think this was intended to be a picnic basket because it was full of little plates and saucers um, that I took out of it, but I just love this basket. I'm always on the hunt for baskets, and this one was definitely a good find. Well, that about wraps up this video. If you like this type of video, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell and the subscribe button because next week I will be styling some of these items in our home. So you'll want to come back and check that out because it's a little bit leaning towards early fall. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm moving in that direction with textures. So you'll want to be sure to tune in for that video next week to see some of these things and how I use them in our home. And I will have some things that I've thrifted before that I am also using in the space. So look out for that and maybe you can see some items that I've thrifted before. So as always, thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. And you can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, and our blog, Our Contented Home. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.